everyone, it's Tutorial Sae here, and today I'll be trying out something a little bit different. I'm going to try clay today. So anyways, I have the shop link down below of where I got this kit. It's from itscute.com, and they've got, oh my gosh, they've got so many different things on their site. They've got all different kinds of kits. They've, only, they've also got like stationery, and I think they've got squishies also, and so many different things. So be sure to check their site out. It is down in the description box below. But anyways, I got this from there, like I said earlier, and I looked it up on YouTube and did not find not even one single video of someone doing this kit. And as you can see, it is in a foreign language. This is Chinese, so I can't read Chinese even though I am Chinese. I know like super duper basic things, and I can't read a single word on here. So <laughs> we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay, so I just read the manual and basically these two things are little dolls that you can dress up with the clay to make little clothes and stuff. I probably won't be doing that today. I'll just be showing you guys how I make the bento box itself and it does have instructions on the inside on how you can make some of these different things in here. So I'll be showing you guys how to make them basically even though these pictures here are pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bowl. First and whoa, it's so stretchy. So first off, I'm going to make a flat piece. This might be too much actually. Okay. So I'm just gonna stretch this out into the oval shape like this. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna take some of the other clay, make this into a snake long enough to go around the perimeter of that kind of oval shape that I just made. So I'm going to Put it around the perimeter here, pull this off, and then I'm going to kind of pull the edges upwards so that way it creates this bowl. So as you can see, the out outer edges are kind of like wider than the rest of the bowl. So what I'm going to do is just kind of fold the edges together and press that down so that way I don't have that excess hanging off anymore. So this is definitely not the most par perfect yellow bowl ever, but you know, that's okay. I want to kind of have a more effortless clay process rather than turning into my perfectionist self and trying to make everything perfectly straight. So now I'm going to use the molds to make some of these different little fruits that I see down here. I'm going to open my purple so that way I can make some grapes that are in here. So as you can see over here, I've got these grapes and I'm going to stick this ball of clay, maybe I need a little bit more, over here towards the bottom. And then towards the top, I'm going to put my green clay so that way I can make the little leaves there. Now these directions that I'm giving you are according to the, whatchamacallit, to the, oh goodness, what is this? It looks like there's liquid or something on here. Maybe it was just the dye not mixed all together. It's fine now. <laughs> okay, so um, these directions I'm giving you are from the instruction manual. I'm just kind of giving them to you in action. So I'm gonna put the green at the top here, and then the purple goes here. I feel like I might need some more purple right here. Just like that. And then now I'm going to close the mold together, where this is right here, and hopefully get some nice grapes. I am a little bit nervous actually. And then push that down real well. Pull that off. Oh, how cute! It came out well. Okay, so I'm gonna pull off all the extra stuff. Maybe this would be a good time to use my fancy tweezers. Oh, look at me. Okay, maybe I can pull the purple and green apart. And there's some purple. Put that off. Okie dokie. 
Now for the scary part. Carefully wiggle this out. And now I've got some cute little grapes. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the egg and I don't believe they had instructions for this in the book. I'm going to make kind of a ball with my clay here and then roll it into a little bit of a half egg shape. And then after rolling it into kind of an egg sort of shape like I have here, I'm going to go ahead and kind of flatten one of the sides. So it looks like I've kind of got like half of an egg right here. And I'm going to take some of my uh, white, this is yellow, some of my yellow and kind of make it into a little bit of a circle type shape. Just like this. And then I'm going to place it right here where the egg yolk would be on a kind of hard boiled egg. Let's go ahead and make this kind of pink ribbony thing and they've got this instruction, these instructions in the book right here. So basically you've just got to make a bunch of like snakes here and fold them up into this kind of flowery thing. So I'm going to make like a bunch of pink snakes here. I've got a super long snake now and I'm just going to flatten it just like this and then I'm going to take my knife and cut it into about, about sections. Let me show you as soon as I cut it. About this long as you can see ish. And then I've got five pieces right now and I might need more but I'm just going to fold them up like this. And then fold this one. So I've made whatever this pink sort of ribbony thing right here is. Now I'm going to make this kind of a shrimp looking thing here. So I'm going to take some red for this and mix it with my yellow to make orange. So start with a small quantity so you don't make too much. Okie dokie. So this is the orange bit that I've got now. And you just want to roll this into a pretty thick snake. So I've rolled this into the snake that I want it to be. We are going to use the end of this tool right here to create kind of like little indentation marks in the shrimp. So you're just gonna create a bunch of these little dots all over. So I'm gonna lightly roll that so that way it's not as prominent. Actually, I'm just going to leave it with a little strip right there. I feel like it looks cute. Maybe I'll do a little down here, but I like how it's got the like, big band on top. And then we're going to take some of our red and create the tail of the shrimp. I'm going to create little ball of red here. I'm going to flatten it a bit, then take the end of my kind of tool here and create a tail shape. And then you're going to stick it onto the end of this shrimp here. And then just for the effect, I'm just going to draw light lines across mine, just like that. So now this is what my shrimp looks like. I'm going to now create the, I believe this is a some kind of fish cake or something like that is what it's called. Okay, so in the picture, they took about this much white, so I'm just gonna roll this into a ball here and then flatten it a little bit. So that way you get something like this. And then it looks like they took a super duper skinny pink snake and rolled that around. And they did use a lighter pink for like, the ribbony type thing as well as this strip, but I kind of like how the darker pink looks. Now going to take my thin snake and start at the center and swirl it around. Okay, and I did minimize my um, little swirly pink thing here because I was running out of white, so I made it just a little bit thinner and smaller. Now I've got my ball of white, and we are going to make this like rice bunny sort of thing in this picture right here. So what we're going to do is apparently we're just supposed to pick off a bunch of pieces of this white here and roll them into sort of rice shapes. Just continue and do a whole lot of these. Okay, my lighting's a little bit weird, I don't know why, but I created this shape for my ear of the rabbit and I'm just going to roll it into this rice 
sort of thing that I've got going on here, or at least that's what the instructions are telling me to do. So I'm going to continue doing this, and at some point I'll probably just end up using my tweezers and just sticking this on everywhere because the rice is going to stick on top of each other and it's going to get kind of crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and continue the same process for both my ears as well as the head of the rabbit. Okay, weird lighting again, so sorry, but anyways. So I finished covering the bunny and rice, and it's not perfectly covered, but oh my goodness, this took forever, so I'm going to call it done. And now I'm going to take some of my black and create the eyes. So I'm just going to take two tiny little round pieces. This looks pretty good for one eye. It's a pretty close match. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on one side. So I'm going to put this right here and then for the other side I'm going to put it right here. And I think that's pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is make the nose. So that's going to be about the same size as well. And for this they use black in the picture so that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to make two thin snakes for the mouth. Okay, so I am pretty much almost done with my bunny. All I have to do now are put some pink accents on the ears and add a bow if I choose. I'm gonna grab my pink clay and they did mix this with white for theirs, but I'm just gonna leave it. So I've got a ball of clay here that's about this big. I'm going to roll it out into a snake, um, a fairly short snake, and then kind of flatten it out and make sure it's symmetrical. Go ahead and take your knife and then cut this in half right down the middle. And then grab one side and put that on one side of the bunny rabbit over here. I have now got something like this. And you can add a bow on here if you'd like. I personally am going to just leave it like this. I think that all I'm going to do now is make this lettuce piece. Okay, so for my lettuce, I've just got this piece of green here, and I'm just going to flatten it out into kind of a weird, crinkly shape. But I'm not going to do the same exact thing that they did in the picture, because I just want it to be kind of a side piece that's individual, not necessarily holding something like it was in the picture. But I'm just going to do this right here, so I've got kind of a thing of lettuce. So it's kind of crazy looking, but that's okay, so just set that down right there. Now we are going to let these dry and then we can assemble the piece together. So anyways, all of my things dried and I just placed them into the bowl and they feel dry to the touch. They're not moldable anymore, but they are still slightly squishy, which is really fun. So anyways, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and find me on all my social media sites that are in the description box down below as well as itscute.com and by the way, it is its-cute.com and they're linked down in the description box below in case you'd like to purchase this, check out their site, see all the other cool things that they have and yeah, so I'm so anxious you all, yeah. So uh, thank you so, so thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!